Now that Simons unleashed that vile rant, he was arguing against a piece of legislation that was sponsored by then Republican State Senator Roger Cates. And this is a bill, this proposed bill would have largely expanded funding for teaching immigrants English, among other things geared toward helping them. And Roger Cates is with us now to talk about this. Uh, sir, thank you so much for being with us. You know, I just wonder what was going through your mind, you know, when you saw that rant? Well, it was, it was pretty stunning at the time, it was three years ago now, but two things I remember, he held up two license plates, one from New York and one from Rhode Island, and said, these are places I used to live before I moved here, and I'm glad to get out of those uh, cultural hell holes and move to Maine, because I thought this was where I was gonna find a white society. And then at the end of his, his testimony, if you will, he pointed, he pointed out that the Maine flag has two white males on it, a, a forester and a, and a fisherman. And he said, we, we don't wanna have to go to the end of the line because these people are coming to our state. So uh, I think there were, there were audible gasps in the room and it was uh, one of the most remarkable things I've, I've ever seen in terms of uh, people really speaking their minds in a very racist way. Did, did you respond to it? Uh, I was the sponsor of the bill, so I wasn't on the committee at the time. I, mm -hmm. uh, the committee really didn't. I think they were happy to have him uh, leave the room as, as soon as they could, but they, he didn't have any impact on the bill. Uh, he was the only one to speak in opposition, by the way. Um, and the, the bill actually sailed through the committee, although it, it was not able to overcome a governor's veto. Okay, so uh, in the end, it did not prevail. And as you mentioned, this was really the one person speaking in opposition in that committee hearing. But certainly, you know, I'm sure that left an impression on you having seen that rant and knowing that there are, you know, I mean, I don't know how much of this kind of discourse you witnessed in your state, but I just wonder overall what you make of learning that, he, you know, he's not alone. There's been a sharp increase in white supremacist and conspiracy theorist rhetoric, and it has seeped now into the national discourse. What do you make of that? Well, first of all, everybody should understand that most people in Maine are extremely sure, well of and, fa and fair. Uh, but to hear some of the, Mr. Simons is very disconcerting. People who think that, that other people coming from away, particularly from other continents, are somehow going to take away their jobs and we need to do something to stop it. it really, exactly the opposite is true. It's not taking a piece of the pie away from anybody. It's really helping to ex expand that pie. Um, and uh, Maine, we've got a very a white population, frankly, I think only about 2% Afri African American, but we've suffered our own discrimination through the years going back a century or more when the French Catholics were flooding over the borders into our state to work in the mills and the Ku Klux Klan was very upset that, that white culture in Maine was gonna be destroyed by that influx. And now maybe a third of our state is is Franco-American and we're, they're proud Mainers and we're proud to have them. Sir, thank you so much. I'm sure it's, you know, seeing this person who you uh, saw having made those comments and now you see him in this video, I know it must be pretty stunning and we, uh, we are so glad you came to talk with us, Roger Cates. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. <laughs>